Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation, baby. I want to get your, your Hopkins versus Sergey Kovalev um, prediction. Who you, gonna, who you think gonna win that fight, Kenny? Oh boy. I've always been a Hopkins fan, but Hopkins might have been off a little more than he can chew. Uh, he might what? He might have been off a little more than he can chew. I think this boy is a larger, bigger guy, much is harder, long arms. I think Hopkins is gonna lose this. I think I was gonna lose. Gonna lose. Mm, that's and okay. I, hate, I hate to be against my man. I've always he's been my main man. I've always been far in one thousand percent. Do you think this might? You think this might be when Hopkins gets old in the ring, or you just you just think? I just, um, I just think the guy's got it's bigger than him, taller than him, long arms, uh, younger. Uh, all these things play a part, you know. Uh, and he's so strong, and I, I don't I don't feel as strong. Hopkins has enough strength to keep this guy out of and he's not a knock. Hopkins not a knockout artist. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the way you have to beat this guy. I don't see. I can't see him boxing this guy. He's trying to outbox him. I can't see that. One. Yeah. I hear you. So you picking Kovalev to win. So if Hopkins were to win, that would really be impressive in your opinion. If oh, he were yeah. to beat a dude oh, that yeah. big, oh, that yeah. strong, that right, young. Right. He oh. shows he. He deserves everything he's got. Yeah, sure. yeah. Now, it's not that I don't want him to win. Cause I oh, want no, yeah, yeah. But, you just but call him the way you see it. Call the way I was going to yeah, see yeah. it happening. And I just think that he's got too, too many pluses against the X. You know, it's just too many. Yeah. Just too many. I definitely see it as a real competitive fight, man. Me, I... I I see it as almost a 50-50 fight, but me personally, I'm, I'm leaning slightly towards um, Hopkins myself, man. So, but we'll we'll see what happens. Well, what you way, man, what we can do is our theory is see if they if they all work out. You know, we'll, we'll know early. We'll, we'll know early. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll after the first two rounds, we yeah. may know something. We'll know early. And and then after those rounds, even if Hopkins were doing good, he still would have a chance of getting caught with something, right. though, right? Yeah, trying to play catch up. You know. Yeah, yeah. It could be a different. This ball got long. Good. Good, off, good jab, a decent jab, a good right hand, good hook. Uh, seems to be strong because he went down the last time too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But I don't think Hopkins has that kind of power to do that mm -hmm. anymore. I don't think he says he sets the touch and go and touch and go and maneuver and do things that are very unorthodox to other fighters. He's real good at that, and, and I, he, Hopkins is real, real good at that placement getting to be in position and things of that nature. And I think he has to be, he, he has to be strictly on his A game to win this fight. Mm -hmm. Strictly that. Because there's so many things against him, I think.